What's up guys, I'm Improv and this is my Iron Man. I have no special restrictions and just plan to play the game my own way and show that even if you don't have all day to play, you can still achieve great things. This is Casually Maxing. Alright, I think I'm going to unlock task storage. Just so if I don't feel like doing a task and I don't have to do it or get rid of it. Like I have Abyssal Demons right now and I really don't feel like doing Abyssal Demons. Um... So I think I'm going to store that and look for a different task for now. Because there's a couple tasks that I'm actually hoping I get. Let's go. We got Dagoneth task, which means we're going to DK's, baby. Finally. You know, it only took uh, 80 million total XP and uh, endgame stats and gear before we decided to go. But, you know, we're going. All right, we are geared up for DKs. This is basically what the inventory is looking like. And one of the reasons I wanted to get 80 agility was specifically for the shortcut here. So, boom, eat the summer pie, boost up to 85, climb up this, and we have the nice little shortcut. Skips a lot of the painful steps of uh, getting through the cave to DKs. So, this was, this was huge. All right, we made it through the cave. It was very easy. Once you go through that shortcut, you basically just go through like, like down on one ladder and through the path. It's super easy. Um, so yeah, get your 80 agility, get 85 agility, whatever you want to do there. And we made it down here. Now I will say the one thing that sucks about DKs is the initial setup. Like it is, it is bad. All right, first Rex kill on the account. Nothing. But, here's to new beginnings. Alright, so this is the new inventory setup here. Basically, we're using the uh, Elite Black Armor. Basically, full prayer bonus here, here. Uh, we're looking at plus 20 prayer bonus. We're going to go back to DKs. I think I'm going to just try to kill all three of them this time around. Just because we, we need all of the rings eventually, I feel like. Like, I definitely want a Berserker ring. Um... To turn into an ultra ring later on but the magic ring is also very nice when you turn it into the magus ring from the d2 dt2 bosses uh some of the stuff that they drop to turn it into that so yeah i think i want the chance to get all of the rings and as i was doing just uh rex i was like i didn't i don't know i didn't realize it was like a minute and a half wait between each kill so like i can only do like 30 an hour like, I might as well just kill the other ones and go for all of them. You know what I mean? Yeah, the setup here is actually awful. So, I literally had to flick range and mage here. And flicking it is a little bit trickier because it's on animation. It's not on the actual hit. And if you miss the flick, they hit super hard. And it's just, it's not a good time. But I, I just... CBA, I, I can't sit there and wait 40 minutes going in and out hoping that these monsters actually like move in a way that lets me just walk in freely, you know? So this this ended up working out for me at least. Alright, I think I have the rotation down. Do I go for it? For the triple? I'm just kidding. I think I'm just gonna kill Rex and Prime. It's easier just to kill two. Getting the setup for all three is a pain, and I have to make sure that I'm actually killing the third one fast enough. It's just, it's a whole thing. Yeah, DKs, DKs are, like, decently chill, I would say, once you actually get in here and get to the back of the cave. But, like, for no reason should it be so hard to get to the back of the cave or to get into position. You know what I mean? Why? I just got spooned. Not on number 16. <laughs> Everybody's gonna be so mad. Let's go. Yeah, save spotting Rex over here and then running across and killing Prime. That's the move. Whoa! Why is he running all the way over there? Good lord. Almost got me attacked by Supreme. It's not let's go we got it i mean we're we're good we can leave here we don't necessarily need to be here anymore that was the second thing we were looking for 
Beautiful. Beautiful. KC number 25 for Rex. Beautiful. All right. Well, we're done for now. I don't see a point in sitting there trying to kill Prime. Um, I don't. I don't think that ring is like as big of a deal for me right now. Like I got the Berserker ring, which is way more important. I got the Dragon Axe. I mean, I'll just go back there one day when I have uh, better better stats and I'm actually looking for the other rings. But right now, that is that is great. We're good. Uh, I don't know, 40 minutes or so at the PvP Arena World. Getting the scroll of imbuing for 200 points. Honestly, not bad if you need to get imbues. That's probably the quickest way to do it. Soul Wars and Nightmare Zone are options, but Nightmare Zone will take a little longer. Soul Wars, it's all RNG mostly. But B ring gives plus four strength right now. Use the scroll of imbuing on it. Boom, imbue item. Boom, plus eight melee strength. Now, this makes a pretty big difference. Um, but one of the main, main, main reasons I wanted this is Tormented Demons. Arclight just thrives off of melee strength bonus. So getting a plus eight ring when I was there previously, I had zero plus zero. So plus eight, I'm pretty sure it gives like four max hits or something. It, it's pretty insane. So pretty awesome upgrade. We're looking juiced. I'm excited. So I wasn't going to do this uh, Skeletal Wyvern task, I was just going to just skip it, but I'm feeling lucky, I'm feeling lucky after the recent drop, so maybe I get my uh, Dragonfire Shield here, you know? Bro, Berserker Ring makes such a big difference. Like, with Piteon against these with the Leaf Bladed Axe as well, 65s is what I can hit. Holy. All right. We're still doing our cracking task here. Um, I have 150 to go or 149 to go. And there is a task basically to kill uh, 50 and 100 without leaving. So I brought some brews, got some food, and hopefully we can get it done in one trip. Uh, 100 in one trip is kind of a lot, but... You know, we might be able to get it done. We'll see. Big 89 Slayer coming in. I think we're like 30 kills into this uh, combat achievement. And the biggest worry I'm having so far is whether or not I'll have enough runes. So we'll, we'll see what 50 looks like and then... You know, do the average and see if uh, see if we'll have enough for the last 50. Okay, I think that is the combat task for 50. I believe. Let's see. Search. Crack in. Tasks. Yep, that was the one for 50. So 50 more to go. We're good on Trident runes. Um, our limiting factor is food, but we should be good. All right, I think we have like 38 more to go. We're down to just our brews now. Um, I mean, we haven't gotten a shark drop in like 20-ish kills, 30 kills maybe. So hopefully, hopefully we get one soon here. There we go. Master task, 100 tentacles. 100 kills in the private room without leaving. Oh, towards the end, it was a little stressful because I wasn't getting any food drops and I was out of normal food. Um, and then I was worried about runes, but it only costed like 1.7k cast, so that wasn't bad at all. And then towards the end, I was a little stressed that I might like DC or something. But uh, we made it. We made it. All right, that's gonna be the end of the video. I appreciate you guys watching and uh. You know, being here to see that extremely long grind I had to go through for the Berserker Ring. I mean, nobody should have to wait that long to actually get one. Um, it was a long grind, you know, took took like, man, like 30 minutes, 40 minutes. So hopefully you guys don't go that dry in the future. But we do have a greater demon task that we just got. So we will be heading to Tormented Demons to hopefully try our luck there. So I will see you guys in the next video for that. Peace.